Well, this isn't anything, but from back here, it totally looks like there's a giant humanoid figure hunching and peeking through the trees, even though it's not. I just thought it was kind of cool. I don't know if you can see it on camera. So I can't quite remember if I've already gotten these ones or not, but there's one there. There's an extra structure over here. There's more teepees over there. Just a lot of them. I might have already gotten these ones though, I can't remember. see it from here but there's another one it's quite a bit bigger that's way over there so I'm gonna check it out. Yeah, I already got these but there there and there El Jefe here again so yeah, not too far from that area, there's more of them over here. Quite a bit smaller, but not just nature's doing. Someone or something had to have placed these like this. They don't just fall like that, I know that. I don't know. Oh, look, more over there too. Huh. Bizarre. So I found teepee structures practically everywhere up here, all placed pretty far off the trail. One here, and then there's more over this direction, over there, if you can see it from here. They're not very big, but still it's a little unusual. I don't know why anyone would want to go around and stack sticks up against a tree like that. Of course anyone could, it's not like they're super impressive or anything, but they're just everywhere. I've already found like five of them pretty close to each other. We're on the far side of the mountain. This is over from where we were at Patty Canyon 5 last year. And uh, we went about halfway down, maybe halfway down, into the ravine on the far side. As you can see, plenty thick in here. Skunk Ape's up over that direction somewhere. And El Jeffy's up the hill right now, trying to gather up his wandering hound. I got Gladriel on my shoulder, and uh, we are taking a quick look-see around down here. Let those catch up to me. If I get mugged by something, they'll hear my screams and figure out where I'm at. But uh, thick terrain. <coughs> Ground is still nice and soft from uh, the eight months of rain and snow that we just got done with, and I'm even leaving impressions in it with my paltry 240 so uh, you can just bet anything Bigfoot size is definitely going to leave some impressions on the ground here but, uh still quite a ways down Working my way down the hill here. I can't really see it with my. A camera. couple partial or possible tracks here. And these are 
they're not they're not like gigantic. There's my foot by comparison, about the same size. In front of this one, back with. And uh, we just Jeff just documented a whole bunch of uh, new teepee structures just on the top of the hill from here. So that would be about the right size track for a juvenile running around making them. And this old abandoned trail here. We got what look, looks like a nice fresh snap right here. And that don't look like old dead wood. Pushing on it with my cane. It ain't doing nothing. Some, uh, something actually broke that off. And conveniently enough, it's aiming right down the abandoned trail. And uh, so let's just go check that out. Right down the hill from the, the train track, as we call it. You see how this is uh, shoved right through in between these trees? We did. You seen this, one before, dude? this is brand new. This is somebody has shoved this in here since the last time we were here. So see you in your next video. And right up there above Vinny's head is where the train track is. We're up here taking a little quick look around this afternoon and see if we can find some new stuff. And right over there is where the stuff in the new video was found. All the leaners against the trees and stuff are all up in that section up there. So, there you go. Say hi, Vinny. <laughs> 